This is a quick video tutorial to show you how to assign a particular CC value and MIDI channel um, to a parameter in Ableton. The reason I'm making this is because sometimes you get things like uh, XY touch controllers, uh, external MIDI devices, and they have two parameters, um, but you only want to assign one of them to something. So say if you want to assign the X of an XY controller to a parameter, when you touch it, it sends both X and Y, and it's impossible to, to get the right one. So this is a quick way to show you how to assign any individual CC value and MIDI channel to a parameter in Ableton. Um, the first thing you do is you need a new MIDI track like so, and you need to create a new MIDI clip, a blank one like this. Now what you can do is you can go into the envelopes mode down the bottom, and you can choose from this drop down menu here, you can choose what um, CC value you want to send. Let's say I want to send CC value 40. So because I've picked that, it's given us this line which represents CC value 40. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click double click on there and draw anywhere, and it's just gonna just give it some information, just just so it knows that I'm, I'm, I'm I want to do CC value 40. That's all good. The next thing I'm gonna do is insert a blank MIDI clip before it. Now this one is just gonna remain completely blank, but we're just gonna give it a follow action of four bars, and we're gonna set it to next. So that means when this plays, it's gonna wait four bars, and then it's gonna trigger this clip. Now of course this clip is uh, again this has the CC value. 40 in it. So what we can do now is we need to set up our IAC drivers in the Mac. By doing this we go into our finder, we go command shift U like so which brings up our utilities folder. We can open our audio MIDI setup and we see under MIDI devices there is this one which has IAC driver. If we open this up, uh, I've already got it online, but you need to make sure this is online. Now when this is online, if you go into your MIDI preferences in Ableton Live, you'll see that you now have an input and an output with an IAC driver. Now, just quickly, this is a, a, a virtual uh, a, a MIDI kind of port. So I can send the, out, uh, the output of Ableton, the output of the MIDI of Ableton to track, and I can put the input to remote. So that means that anything within this clip, if I was to pick the MIDI out to that ISE driver, anything which was within this clip will get sent out of Ableton and then back into Ableton, and Ableton will pick that up as a remote value, like it's an external instrument turning a knob. So what that means now simply is if I click play on this, um, what we do is it starts playing, I can go into MIDI map mode, and I can click on a parameter, and after four bars it'll send that value out, Boom, and it's uh, there we go. So it's it's assigned that clip for us. If we go back into MIDI mode, you see we now have 140 there. Uh, the other thing is, if we go, if we want to change the MIDI channel, you can simply change the channel here. Let's say I want channel 12 for that, and channel 12, and let's change this parameter to. Let's just select this, delete it. We don't want it. Let's change this to 31. So we want 31 on channel 12. Excuse my iTunes. Just going to put in a few dots like so. Again, we play the first one, which gives us four bars. That gives us some time, and let's assign it to the send B. Perfect. So that's assign that there. So now you can assign the individual parameters of your XY controller or any other thing that you want to do, which doesn't give you an absolute value. Hope that helped. TomCosm.com.